Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play The Town of Light. My name is Weasel, and uh, currently we are on our way to deliver the handwritten letter we wrote to our mother to the archive, which I think is here. When you were sent to a here. lunatic asylum, you lost the right to possess anything. Mm. Everything you arrived with was packed up and stored here, even the clothes you were wearing, in case you were released one day. Too many, however, never left. That is really sad. Um, okay, so we're gonna bring the letter. Where are we gonna bring the letter, though? That's a good question. Um, I doubt in one of these. Um, oh, filing cabinets. Um, I guess we're gonna look in them real quick. Uh, once I find the way to put this letter away. Um, is there, like, a mailbox, like, letters to be sent? There's, uh, there's piles of letters. Whoop, keys. Can I, can I keep those, please? I would, I would really love to keep those, okay. Maybe I have to put the letter away first. There's more keys on the table there. Oh, I can't pick up those, okay. Since I can't pick them up, I don't think there's anything I can do with them. Mm. Okay, let's, I guess we could look inside. P2Q. There must be a file with my name in the filing cabinet somewhere here. Okay. I guess we're gonna have to. Ah, this looks like there's something. RST, Renee. Dear mother, please, I beg you, get me out of this place. It frightens me so much. You were right. I know I was wrong. I realize I'm so ashamed. If you only knew how much. But now I'll behave well. Sure, now things will be fine. I'll work hard. I'll be very good. Your daughter, Renee. Not fulfilled. They didn't send it to her mother. This letter. It was Renee's letter. Just like when it was written. But it was never sent. Why? Why did a thing like that happen? Well, they didn't want you to know. They didn't want anyone to know. I've received your letter, Mum. You tell me to be patient and strong while I only have fear and pain. And you no longer write to me. If only these lines could be my soul and tell you what's happening to me. The kids want to kill me. They all look the other way, and they tell me what I must do. I don't understand. She helps me, but what have they done to her? Can you tell me? Will you help me? Renee. Not fulfilled either. Not sent. How many more letters? Not delivered? Is that a letter from Monte Mother? Fiscoli, 7th July, 1940. My dear daughter... I have received no news from you. You haven't even dropped me a line for months. Unfortunately, I can't afford to come and visit you. I've no money for the fare. Do you remember Mr. Onofrio? He'll soon be coming to Volterra on business. I've asked him if would be kind enough to ask the director to have news about you. I hope when he comes back, he'll be able to give me good news. But write to me. I know that I was strict with you. You have to excuse me. I didn't realize. I've given Mr. Onofrio a new doll for you. You told me that you lost yours, and I know you loved it so much. It's not as nice as your Charlotte, but I hope that it will comfort you nonetheless. Keep your chin up, daughter. Things will be fine. You'll wow. see. Wow. This was never delivered. That's horrible. Another one that was never delivered? Oh, man. Montefoscoli, 12th October, 1940. Dear daughter, I've written two letters to you and have received no reply. I await a letter anxiously every day. Mr. Onofrio has come back. He brought you the doll. Do you like it? He told me he didn't manage to speak to the director, but he did see you. I pray for you every day. Don Gino said a prayer for you during Sunday Mass. That was lovely, wasn't it? Oh, totally. I've That's super helping me. Today. I'm going to bring you home. I've already written to the director. I told him that I'll take care of you. At the moment, I'm not well and can't work, but I'll soon get better. You'll see as soon as I'm up to making the journey, I'll come and get you. I know oh, you're suffering good news. a lot, but bear up. I beg you. Oh, that would have helped me. Mom what? will come to pick us up, won't she? Mom is good, but she's not well. That's why that man came. She also sent us the doll. I could have played with it and talked to it, waiting for her to come. But Renee never brought it with her. Perhaps she has been kidnapped like all the others and will be locked up here somewhere. Oh, they oh, they locked up the doll? Okay, I guess we're gonna be on another doll rescue mission. 
Let's look for the second doll. It'll be among bundles of the patient's things. Just gotta find the right one. There's a lot of bundles, man. There's a lot of stuff that belonged to people once. Is that a box that I can open? I'll just go through them one by one. Eventually, I'm gonna find the package. Anything here? Letters. Wait. What is happening? I think it's directing me up. <laughs> Trying to subtly t oh, up. on. To tell me to maybe go up here. Is that... Renee, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's it. That is... Now we can open the bundle on that table in front of the window. Well, let's do that. Let's see if the doll is in there. I assume it is. Why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't they deliver that? What's... <sighs> horrible. There it is. See, Mom was good. I was bad. Mom was worried about Renee and Charlotte. I abandoned Charlotte. We've abandoned her. You abandoned Charlotte? You didn't abandon Charlotte, did you? Okay, your shoes. May the Lord guide your path and keep you away from sin. Mom. La Mama. What is this? Oh, I assume this is a picture of me, or... Honestly, I have no idea. This is another picture. Maybe this is... Grandmother? My mother? Not sure. This is probably me. I'm shy with the doll. You can zoom in there. Oh! What is this? It's like a... Um, lucky charm, I guess. Renee. Yeah, this is mine. I guess I don't want it? What about the keys that I have? Okay, I can't take the keys. Uh, I guess we're gonna get back Charlotte, because that's the last thing she said. We abandoned Let's Charlotte. Let's look for Charlotte. We have abandoned her. Yeah, no problem. She will always remain where we abandoned her. Beneath the hot lights. Let's hope she didn't catch fire or anything. That would be very unfortunate, but I doubt that's... That's gonna happen. Yeah, stuff is so old. Ugh. There she is. Alright. Found her. Okay, we're getting her back. Oh, we're having a flashback. Hello, nurse. Uh. Where are we going? What are they doing to me? Oh, I don't like it here. What is this? Oh, I'm getting an injection. Oh, no. Oh, this ass. Fuck you, buddy. Just... Yeah. I didn't do anything. I only obeyed orders. Charlotte's gone away. I didn't come to get us that way. I only obeyed orders. Leave us alone. Charlotte's gone away. Well. I only obeyed orders. Do yep, we're we're gonna pass out. This is gonna happen. Oh, I bet mom loves us. Uh, hey there. Oh, how are you holding up? Not not too well, I see. Oh, we're like in a common room again, or something. Ed agitated woman ward or so. Not entirely sure, honestly. Not entirely sure. We're just placed. Great, we're just placed in here. Did you, did you survive? I hope so. I don't like it here anymore. I I really I I never really liked it in the first place, but this is really disturbing. Oh, doctor. Oh, are we gonna are we gonna do shock therapy? I'm afraid we're gonna do shock therapy in here. That's the room where I found the shockers, the paddles. Yep, they're gonna restrain me now. Oh god, you're all horrible. Oh, this is really bad. This is really, really bad. Come on, let me go! Jesus Christ. Wait, are you just... Ah, there they are. No, wait, oh, right, I'm getting... They're pushing a stick in my mouth so I don't bite my tongue while my head gets shocked with these paddles. Uh, hey, doctor. Yeah, it looks like you have you have a button there. Up oh, there, there they are. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, even Wheatley leaves. I can totally understand. Get it over with. God, that must be horrible. New chapter 11. Yeah, this is this is where we got shocked. Those are the friggin' pedals. Oh, the hissing noise. Getting a headache from this. 
Okay, we, I just want to get out of here. doctor writing sitting at his desk? I, I doubt I'm going to find his document still fully intact, but who knows? Maybe I get lucky. Let's see. Um, there's no drawer. Um, oh, there's a report. 7th September, 1938. The patient frequently indulges in recriminations expressed in an explosive tone of voice. This morning, she threw away the milk, saying it was full of urine, spittle, and all the other filth. Praised, she hears voices. They order her about. She says she heard children singing. They were imprisoned in a school. 20th January, 1939. Mutistic, groggy, pays no attention to anything. When questioned and stimulated, she starts crying and weeping. At other times, she laughs. Maybe you should have not shocked her. June. Brain. Apathetic, eats very little. She refuses to be touched. Doesn't respond. Passes her time in the park. The cooks report that she sits on a bench in front of the kitchens. 14 October. Impulsive once again. This morning she asked for two eggs to make savoyoni, but the moment she was given them, she threw them away. Excited, uproarious, slightly confused, she strips off. 8th December. Tied to bed for 15 days. 15 friggin' days! High spirited, tends wow. to witty comments and use vulgar words, laughs hysterically, masturbates. The nurses report that about two weeks ago she remained in the showers on her own and didn't want to leave. They report that when they took her away she swore at them and then hit out at them and bit them. Two nurses had to be treated for their injuries. Mm, Since I wonder then, if they've kept her tied to the bed. I wonder if that was when we probably had a hallucination before, about our affair with that B woman. To the care of Dr. C. I was with Amara in the showers. My memories terrify me. They're not real, are they? I don't know. Yeah, they're just a figment of my imagination. What reality are we referring to? Memory is what you are, whether it's real or not. That's pretty deep. I, I like that. 15th December. Dr. C. Patient notes. The abnormality of her psychic state has induced her to lead a life which is irregular and tends towards delinquency. A fickle and flighty character, she abandons her household duties at intervals and dabbles in occasional prostitution. Prostitution? Me? No, I don't think I could have. Or are my memories betraying How would I? I was, I was like... Imp what other horrible friend. things might I have done without even suspecting it? The uncertainty, the fear of my own actions was one of the things that most tormented me. Her mental deficiency makes her deaf to the reprimands of her family. She has shown suicidal tendencies. She was brought to the ward yesterday, agitated and vociferous. Treated with cardizol, two injections a week for five weeks. They were only trying to confuse us with the therapy, and my god, they managed. It was as if they wanted to instill the madness into us. That is basically what happened in a lot of these places. Sure, they were saying they are going to treat you, but in the end, they just made it so much worse. I mean, this is. <sighs> They were the only therapies that could be used. I mean, they were the pretty much only therapies that someone said would help, but were full of shit, basically. There were so many of you, what could they do to manage that hell when there were so few of them? Really? That is your argument? It doesn't, doesn't give you the right to abandon humanity. The end justifies the means for those who have the power. Yeah, basically, that, that the end justifies the means. Second yeah. June. That's how a lot of roll. Yeah, let's not get one of our own. Let's... Man. Yeah, a stranger snuck in, and that that is what happened. Why hide? I don't think we're afraid of you. You're worthless for everyone. No, you... Yes, all well planned. The institution had to protect itself. That's basically what happened. Perhaps it doesn't refer to Renee. At least not that Renee. Oh, yes, it refers to her. 13th June. Friggin... The nurses report that after having received her mother's letter, she fell into a state of great mental confusion. She threw her soup over another inmate because she was very anxious, and she punched a nurse. Impulsive, lashes about her. She rails against the doctor in vulgar terms while he is examining her. Lashes out and spits. Block all correspondence so as not to give the patient further reasons to oh, become great. agitated. 20th August, tied to bed. The nurses report the patient becomes highly agitated after the visit of a relative or family friend. Even oh, two days later, yeah. she still shouts ceaselessly that he commands her, that she must obey and harm herself, and that she is not Charlotte. All visits forbidden. 
constrained to bed and intensification of ES therapy. Electroshock until therapy. Results. Oh, great. No contact with the exterior. And that way, no one knew what was happening within these walls. Basically, I mean, most people, when they heard about what happened in these places, were shocked and terrified. I mean, it was really disturbing. Um, human misery was thrown in here and locked away to make the world forget about it. Yeah. The people who were in here were no longer human beings as far as society was concerned. The important thing was to keep you quiet. You don't remember what happened when the letters arrived. How can you judge? God knows how much suffering they spared you. Nope. Human misery was thrown here, locked Third away to March. make the world forget about it. Alert. Correct attitude. Replies when questioned. Huh. The nurses report that the patient is calm. She washes and looks after herself. She affirms the existence of a certain Amara. She says that Amara is a patient who disappeared when she was moved to this ward. No confirmation. Probably a regressive hallucination. Evaluate transfer. Amara invented by me? That's not possible. She was there. I know she was there. I feel it. She must have left traces somewhere. I guess we could look for an Amara, but I don't have high hopes. Not delivered. What is that? Monte Fascoli, 20th December, 1941. Another for Dear mother? Director, oh. Please let me know how my daughter, your patient Renee T, is doing. I've written to my daughter several times, but without getting any reply. I'm very worried, and since I've been ill for some time, and I'm not fit to come and visit her. Please do me the favor of letting me know when it will be possible for me to bring my daughter home. Your humble servant, Ada T. Bring this letter to the attention of Dr. C so he can evaluate the possible discharge of the patient. Oh man, I I guess Dr. C didn't think I was ready to leave or something. I mean, it's not a thing that happened. I mean, there's a lot of dialogue happening um, as the story slowly unravels. We can try to find her medical records in the archive where the letters from her mother were filed. Yeah, we, we, we will try that. Let's, let's see if we can find anything. Um, Amara, and see if Amara is real. I mean, at this point, I mean, Maybe it's better to not look for her. Just, I guess, just an idea. But then again, maybe a good idea to know where she is or if she's real or not. Um, it was all the way down here, right? The archive is on the right. Yes, um, archive all the way down. Okay, I guess we're gonna go for the filing cabinets. Amara. Maybe start with A. Somewhere over here. Amara B. Yeah. Page Thirty-two. There you go. Housewife, mother of two daughters, married to Mario B. So Amara exists then. Yet she had no children. She wasn't married, but that photo. Well, she might have it's lied. Her. But they're right Finn about June, her. 1936. Admitted yesterday. She shows signs of improvement. 10th June. Jolly, calm, tranquil. She behaves well. Keeps herself tidy and clean. Discharged 8th June. That was fast. April 1937. Oh. Arrives, brought by her husband, in an anxious and nervous state. Has difficulty speaking, trembles. Discharged, 14th May. 8th March, 1938. Regular a few visitor. days before Renee was admitted, she told me that she had also been admitted shortly before. Arrived yesterday in a febrile state. Discharged, 14th March. She didn't leave. Certainly not after so few days, no. June 22nd, 1939. Readmitted. Once more, the patient shows rapid improvement. Discharged 2nd July. 1st August, 1941. Umpteenth admission due to agitation. Discharged 27th August. She came and went, stayed there only for short periods. But I remember her always with me. What's happening? Oh. 4th March, 1942. Hallucinations? Here once more. The same situation. Really? That's your March. report? Compared with previous admissions, the patient seems depressed even after a few days, although she bears herself well and is attentive. Discharged 25th March. 2nd April. The patient is distracted and apathetic. Her husband brought her because she doesn't eat, doctor. Sleeps all the time. I'm so worried, doctor. You know her. You can help her. 6th April. Tuberculosis. Patient transferred oh. to Margliano Pavilion in isolation. 3rd May, 1942. Oh, wow. Death due to tuberculosis. About 8.30. Is Amara dead? Poor dear friend. I wasn't even able to say goodbye to you. No. Nope. Enclosed is a manuscript written by the patient. 
probably delirium. Maybe it's for I'm me. I'm dying. I know it. I'm losing lots of blood, also internally. It's strange. Since I came back in here, I can't think of anything other than that little girl with her sad eyes. Her desperation. I assume that is us. I only saw her for a short time, true. But she remains in my heart. Will she still be here? I hope to God not. I hope she's better and her mother's taken her home. No. My memories don't correspond. What's the point of this? Perhaps my memory is deceiving me. Possible. The things are not as I remember, as I see them. But she said she liked me. Really, I can't understand it. I just want to say goodbye to her for the last time. I never even said goodbye to her. Well, she came and left really fast. How could a soul survive in this hell? How do I, I see wish to feel things this? Again. Pain, passion. Once again, feel the tears wet in my face. Remember to have lived. Wait, where are we? Wait, what is happening? New chapter 12. Um, am I outside of the... No. I'm somewhere completely different right now. I think I'm at the gravesite. Yeah. I guess we're gonna go... I guess we're gonna go say goodbye. Bye to her. Um, yeah. I wonder, I wonder where she, where, where they buried her. <sighs> Probably somewhere. Um, I mean, how, how can this be real? I mean, this is many, many years ago. Um, I guess we're gonna look for the fresh grave, or maybe even in here. No, there's nothing in here anymore. Yeah, good question. How am I seeing this? I mean. Am I going to roll with hallucination here, or assume that this is real? I mean, it does look like it's been abandoned for a few years. Okay, where is her grave? Is that her? Is that finally her? I'm, I'm really having a hard time I finding it. Sure it's Amara's. I was about to say, um, how will Those I know? Crosses are nameless. How will we ever know whose they are? Probably you won't. There are no names here. There, that might Amara be the no idea. no longer exists. Perhaps she never really existed. I myself was already dead. Why go on living? Let's put an end to it. No, let's not do that. Something written. I want to apologize for the suffering I have caused. That's the problem. So many victims feel it's their fault, which is the worst part of it all. Okay, you want to leave something written? I don't. I don't want you to kill yourself. How about we abandon the whole? ending your life thing and keep on living. I would really prefer that a whole lot. The reception's in the entrance hall. There I'll find pen and paper to write. I always wanted to eradicate what I used to do, but I just kept on doing it again and again. Just forced yourself to relive those horrible moments over and over I again. I kept on making mistakes, destroying my life and that of the people close to me. It's not your fault. My soul was rotting in a state of sin. Oh, what, what, what is this? My life has been one continuous error. I'm so ashamed of what I've done. I lost control and couldn't stop myself. A victim of rage and lust. The most obscene desires. Mom, don't come to collect me. I beg you. I deserve to be in this place. It's my only chance. No, you don't. Nobody deserves to be in this place, like ever. Uh, okay, we're making our way back but to the. I'm not courageous so, enough. Kind of don't want to support her getting not pen like and this. paper now. I don't want you to die. Okay, so um, the reception was just at the start of the asylum, right? I think I got some papers here. I think I'll be able to find the pen. I can't. I can't. Is that my note that I already have written? Why am I why is my stomach bleeding? Um Oh, 
That, mmm, that's a scissor. Okay. Yeah, primary school. This is, I guess, where it all started. This is gonna be a longer episode. I don't know what it is about singing kids in this situation that makes me really agitated. Okay, I guess we're gonna go to the classroom? That's my best bet right now. Uh, school is great. You're gonna learn things. I mean, I, ha I had days where they want to go to school, but this definitely would not want to make me go. This hallway seems to go on forever. I, I, I doubt it wants me to turn around. Wait. Where is there... Uh, it's changing slowly but steadily. Okay, I can't turn around anymore. It just goes down the hallway at this point. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's changing to prison cells. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no, please! This is not cool at all. Not cool. Uh, do, I, do I have to go up here? Okay, it stopped. It stopped for now. Good. I don't like the grabby hands. Um, that is... One of 17. Do I have to find all pictures now? It seems like it. Don Gino. Yeah, I think Don Gino is the guy that pretty much ruined her life, I think, at this point. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna keep looking for... I guess the 15 others in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. I'm Weasel. I'm out. And I hope to see you around. Bye-bye!